Hello and welcome back to Climate Unboxed. Now I've already shown you on previous videos how to calculate statistics both over space and over time and we've seen that in CDO there are an enormous amount of functions built in such as standard deviations, minimum, maximum and also there were two functions that sounded very similar. So we had the mean but we also had another function that sounded very similar called the average. Now I asked in a previous video what the difference was between those two functions. So in this short video, I want to show you exactly what the difference is between these two. Well, this comes down to how we consider missing numbers. Now I'm gonna move myself over here. And if you remember, thinking back to the first video, that each variable in an etcdf file usually has metadata describing the units but also missing values. A flag that says in this cell at this particular time there's no value recorded and so a number is put there that says this number means this data point is missing. Now when you want to calculate functions the way these missing values are handled is different according to the mean or the average Function. So let's give an example to explain that in a simple way. Let's imagine that we have a list of numbers. I have four numbers, one, two, three, and the fourth entry is missing. Now how are these handled? Well, if we want to calculate the mean, the mean of these four entries is simply two because the missing values are ignored. So it takes one, two, and three, and divides it by just three present numbers and comes up with an average of two. Instead, when it comes to the average function, this doesn't ignore the missing values. And so the average function of one, two, three, and miss is actually missing. Any missing numbers present in a particular year will lead to the overall average being set to missing. Now the way I try and remember this difference, you imagine two boxes, mean and average, they're having a bit of a fight, and mean is bound to win because it's really mean, and so average decides to go missing. So there you have it. Now you know the difference between the mean and the average function in CDO. It's just a matter of how they treat the missing values in cells in your data. If you have no missing values, then the two answers should be the same. I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you again soon on Climate Unboxed.